What's up YouTube, this is LDS Reliance. Well, it's finally sunny today, so I decided to break out a product that I was sent and do a little review video for you. This is a solar panel by Lensun. It is a 160 watt foldable ETFE solar panel. I've done a couple review videos on Lensun solar panels in the past that you may have seen. Um, these are panels that are great for portable uses such as camping and hiking and or maybe a remote construction site or something like that. So they have some uses. They're a little more expensive than the fixed frame counterparts, but they're just as efficient and uh, they've got some benefits. So let's go ahead and unbox this and take a look at what we're working with. So as you can see, it comes in a nice little carrying case here. Uh, it's got handles on the top, it's got a front little pouch here with all of the accessories inside of it. So it's got every cable that you're going to need for any kind of use. Um, it says in the description that it comes with MC4 connectors, but those are definitely not MC4 connectors. They work just fine, but I'm not familiar with them and I can't vouch that they're weatherproof. It also comes with this charge controller as you see here, but I'm not going to be testing that in this video, so I'm going to lay that aside. And then obviously it comes with the obligatory alligator clips so that you can connect to a battery. Poking out of this hole right here is the output of the solar panels. So that's where those accessories will connect to. And then tucked away up here is a manual, although it's not very good. Uh, very little information. There's a few specifications and some very simple instructions. But there's no warranty information, there's no contact information, and it's very limited in the information it gives you, especially for beginners. Now one great thing about this solar panel is it's very lightweight. According to the specifications, it weighs 5.56 kilos, which is about 12 pounds. And since this is designed to be portable and used outdoors, it does have all kinds of useful straps. It has uh, grommets in the corners and, and many different ways that you can mount this and use this device. All right, well enough talk about the features and stuff. Let's go ahead and open this thing up and see what it looks like. All right, now I've got this unfolded and pointed as best as I can directly at the sun. Now this is a 160 watt solar array consisting of four individual 40 watt solar panels. I have it set up on some chairs at an angle to best match the angle to the sun because the little feet that are attached to the back of the solar panels aren't the right angle. I'm getting ready to test the output of these solar panels. According to the specifications, they put out a maximum of 18 volts at 8.89 amps. Um, open circuit, that would be 21.24 volts and 10.49 amps. So when I put these under load, I should be getting hopefully close to 8.89 amps. For the first test, I grabbed a small sealed lead acid battery and connected it to my multimeter so that I could record how many amps are going into the battery when I make the connection. So I tried this test several times with this battery, which is fairly well depleted, and I never got over about 7 amps. Let's move on to a much bigger battery and see if we can get a few more amps out of this. Again, I tried this multiple times and never got above about 7.8 amps this time. So while we weren't able to match the rated output of the panels, that wasn't unexpected. In real world conditions, solar panels never make their full rated power. So if you're getting about 20% less, that's normal. One concern I have with these panels that I wasn't able to test, obviously, is the long-term durability of the panels because they end up looking like this after about six months or a year. Ultimately, the only people that are considering buying these are people who need them specifically for flexibility and for transport. Keep in mind, you're going to pay a premium for that, and with this particular panel, I'd be a little nervous about lack of warranty information. As always, thanks for watching the video. Please consider subscribing to my channel, and if you're interested in buying this product, there's a link in the video description.